Alright guys, Scott here from the Mental Metal Channel and MentalMetalDetecting.com and today I have the Manticore out here with me. I have the M8 coil on the, uh, the Manticore itself. It is the uh, the 8 inch coil. It's a very nice coil. I like it a lot. Had a request from one of my Patreon members and you know, here's a little plug for Patreon. If you're not a Patreon member, this is the... Uh, the time you should get involved we have a really cool group of patreon members over there who give me ideas for videos and uh this is one of them so uh, i did a video in my test garden with this coil oh a few weeks ago in i just tested it in my test garden with the multi-frequency uh, settings and he asked if i would run it as single frequency um tests are in my garden as well and so that's what we're going to do today we're going to turn the we got the manticore on we're in basically i'm in multi or uh, single frequency right now um we'll start at five kilohertz and we'll run through the test garden and just see how well um this machine's going to do in the single frequency range here so i've already tested this it's kind of interesting there's a few little um interesting things i'm going to point out as we go through here but uh, i got a couple targets that seem to be a little contaminated so they're going to be tough to hit especially with this little coil it's a really good coil it does goes really deep but some some of these tests, some of these targets are just kind of out of the reach. So uh, we may get them, we may not get them. Um, I was hitting some of these earlier, but we'll tr we'll try it out and we'll see. Maybe we'll come in now. I've ground balanced and I've uh, noise canceled, so we're just gonna go with it. Uh, just to show you here, we are in. I'm not gonna run through all the search programs. Um, I'm gonna just keep it to all terrain general. I did do a factory reset just to make everything back to normal. Um, noise canceled already. Oh, maybe it didn't let's do noise cancel real quick. All right, we got a negative two, it's staying there, so we'll let it go. So that's our noise cancel ground balance. Already did that. Uh, recovery speed I've dropped it down to four. Um, I think I tested this before. Four was the Mac, was the ultimate setting for my test garden here i'll keep it at four for now we'll try some other we might have to try something else maybe lower it a little bit if i can't hit some of these targets all right so let's just go through some of the targets so right here is a war nickel now again we're in uh let's see here uh frequency five kilohertz we're in audio theme normal okay i'm not messing around with the with the audio themes today we're just going to run through you know straight up all metal is turned off but i'll turn it back on if you want me to uh we'll run both either way let's just turn it off for now and see if we can see if my targets are contaminated with iron which some of them i think are so there we go that's that's how we're going to run it i'm just going to run through these real quick let's just start in the back this time here is a um suspender clip this is a relic uh buried down about i think six seven inches not very deep so it, it's finding that, let's see if I can get you oriented here. It's finding that relic relatively easy. Some weird numbers jumping up there. But uh, here's a silver thimble about eight or, I think it's about eight or nine. It's down there a ways. You can hear some iron in there. But it does hear the target down there, right there. So it does get it. Here's going to be a, uh, what is this target? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh, this is a, this is a, a um, pull tab. Fun sounds really funky. Uh, and then we got a large scent down about eight inches. A little iron in there. These are some uh, shell frags. And then this is a flat button. Listen to that. Sounds a little crazy. Let's see what my dogs are barking at. Turn the all metal mode off. <laughs> Five kilohertz, man. These targets don't sound that good. Uh, let's go back to here. This should be a Indian head penny. 
and it picks that up just fine. This should be a barber quarter, about eight inches, eight, nine inches. Gets that just fine. Here is a war nickel, I believe. Or no, I'm sorry, it's a V nickel. So yeah, that difference in kilohertz and frequency really uh, throws you off a little bit. Here is a war nickel. But look what it rings up as, 93, 95. It's really qu quite weird, actually. This is going to be a 12-inch half dollar. And it hits it. But the number reads not 09 or... So it's just on the edge, I think, of detection. You can hear it. Um, let's see. I have a 10 inch, 10 and a half inch dime. I'm not sure it's going to hit that. Doesn't sound like it. Nope. Oh. Well, actually, it's hitting it a little bit. So it does get it. It doesn't register on the target ID, though. So you can hear it in there. So let's bump it up to, um, let's dump, bump it up to 10 kilohertz and see if it'll hear this dime a little better. Still about the same. It'll just barely pick it up. But it's not really that great. So here's the war nickel again. It's making that number go really high, which is strange. I've never seen it do that before. And this is single frequency, by the way. 10 kilohertz. Here's the 8-inch uh, quarter on edge. 97. Suspender clip. It just sounds so funky. <laughs> Here's a silver thimble. Not sure what's going on there with that, but pull pull tab. Pull tab sound a little better. Large scent. No problem with that. So you get to see here's a barber quarter. Picks that up, no no problem at all. Um V nickel. Well, still jumpy. Uh, here's an Indian head penny. Picks that one up just fine. Let's raise the frequency up now to 15. This you should start. You should start getting these targets with good target IDs at 15. This this is probably the good coin range. I don't know if it'll go any deeper though. So really no difference there. I can just barely pick up that ten and a half inch dime. Barely. I mean, I can hear a little. You probably can't hear it, but there's a little bit of a squeaker. I would never dig that if I was walked over, if I walked over it through. That's the difference. Uh, War nickel. Numbers are still high on this one, which is interesting. Twelve inch half dollar. hears it but it's not coming in so we're at the edge here of detection on that um i didn't show the the nail or the dime silver dime in, in between nails so it does pick that dime up in there but it's down averaging quite a bit just to let you hear the iron So there's a dime in there, but it's just down averaging it quite a bit. Uh, Indian head penny. No problem with that. Quarter, barber quarter. I think my paint mark's a little off. Picks it up. But it's not getting target ID at 15 kilohertz like the other ones were. So 
that's weird. Uh, v nickel. So now let's bring it back down to normal. Well, it was bringing it back down. And it's still all over the place. I thought I saw 20s in there. That's really strange. I'm not really sure what to make of that. Um, now let's just try another. Let's go up another frequency. Uh, let's go to 20 kilohertz. 10 and a half inch dime. Nope. I think I've hit the max here on this depth here. and I can sort of hear it. But Hey, Rocky, what's going on, buddy? I already played fetch with him today, so he doesn't bother me. We got a war nickel. Still ringing high. 12-inch half dollar. Yeah. It's interesting when you change the frequencies what, what you don't hear. Um, let's go back here. Penny, Indian head penny. Yeah, hits that okay. Number's a little different. Barber quarter. Hmm. I mean, it hits it. I can hear it in there. But no target ID. V nickel. There might be some contamination in there. I'm not sure. Quarter on edge. Definitely here's the quarter. There's some iron around it though. Let's bump it up to 40 and try that one. Again, that 10 and a half inch dime is struggling. V nickel. Oops, let me get back here. Still ringing high, but it's getting it. 12 inch half. Yeah, it's not going to get that. Uh, bar recorder. Whew, it's even quieter now, going up higher. Indian head. Still get it. There's the target ID. So, you know, just going coming through a couple other targets here. Here's the, uh, here's the silver thimble. Not coming in very good. Suspender clip. Now let me go back to cha changing this over to multi-frequency and then showing you the difference. I'm not sure I would run this coil in single frequency, unless you had to. Let's change it back to multi-IQ. And now let's go through the targets and see what we get. Now, again, my recovery speed, I have not changed. I left it at four. We're still in all metal mode. Ten and a half inch dime. I can hear it. No target ID though. And then you go to the war nickel. Just that's just so weird. It brings just up brings up like a nickel. A little bit higher than like a normal nickel, but here's a V nickel. That's what you should see in a V nickel. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Maybe a Maybe 24 is what I'm used to seeing, but what a difference. <laughs> War nickel, 29.30. 12-inch quarter, or 12-inch half dollar. But you can hear it. It's ringing. It's giving you some target IDs. Let's, what about the uh, uh, Indian head penny? Sixty, sixty-one, barber quarter, high nineties. That's amazing. That's just crazy how it does that. And suspender clip locks on at fifty-eight, sixty. Silver thimble picks that up, no problem. 
And then you have a large synth. So that's my conclusion on this. I mean, you take take for what it's worth here, what you've seen. But um, I think I think this coil is better at multi frequency. To be honest with you. All right, guys. I'm in my garage. I wanted to come back out here and try something real quick. So I had a problem with. Um, uh, I don't know if I had a problem, but I had some questions about how this thing was reacting to single frequencies in my test garden. So I sent this uh, video, my video that I did, that part of this video, over to a guy named Lauren Lemke over across the pond and um, had him take a look at my video. Just wanted to know, he does really good, he does a really good job explaining, testing things out. And, um, and so I thought I'd get his opinion because I was just perplexed on why the single frequency was up averaging a lot of these signals in altering general. And we went back and forth a couple a couple ideas thinking my ground might have something you know going on with it. And and so lo and behold he tested it with his machine, air tested it. I guess he can't be out there hunting right now. It's ground conditions are too harsh for him right now. It's cold wherever he's at. And um he said air testing it was fine. He said he did it was that we had no problem with it. So he thought maybe something was wrong with my coil or maybe the ground. So I wanted to rule some of that stuff out. So I came out of the garage, and then we're going to go out to my test garden too. Um, I'm going to have everything set up here like I would out in the test garden um, in frequency 15 kilohertz. It doesn't really matter which single frequency you're in. But I'm in five target tones or five tones. Um, I don't really have any discrimination turned on. My, my recovery speed is still four. Ground balance doesn't really matter in here. Didn't always cancel already, but I'm going to be in all terrain general. And if you remember in the test garden, this thing was up averaging big time. So I got a V nickel. It really did it on the on the nickels. So I want to test it again and see what the number is going to be here. I'm going to try to get this angled right so you can see it. Well, first I need to take it off of. So all terrain general. It's doing fine. It's doing what it's what it should. Um, so let's go to, uh, let's go over to all terrain fast and see what it does there. <laughs> Seems to be doing okay there. No up averaging there. Let's go back and do low conductors. Nothing strange there. Let's go to high conductors. Try it again. Nothing strange there. And all terrain trash reject. Nothing strange there. So I don't think there's anything wrong with my coil. Now it leads me to believe there's something going on with my ground out there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out to my test garden and we're going to actually test this again and we're going to change the search programs around and it's going to be interesting what you see because I did this already and in one of these test programs, Ultra in general it is up averaging in my test garden for some reason it's strange but you'll see all the other ones do just fine so uh, call me wacky but I don't understand what's going on with that I don't think there's anything wrong with the coil per se I think I'm good I just think there's just something really strange with my ground out there or um, the machine's just hearing something or detecting something and just up averaging for some reason. So be curious on what your thoughts are when you get to the end of the video, but uh, check it out and uh, let me know what you think, all right? All right, guys, so I wanted to come out here and do a little bit more testing. Uh, I thought that the signals were ringing up a little strange to me with all terrain general, so I want to try something a little different. I went to fast, nothing really changed to that, so now I'm in... Um, altering low conductors, same setting as before. Um, my nickel is now showing up 27, 28, in the 20, you know, where I would expect it to. Maybe it's a little high. I think that's a war nickel. Here's a V nickel right here under this leaf. Um, so that's ringing up more like I would expect it to. Let's see. Here's a, uh, Barber, quarter, silver. So low conductors picking up stuff. 
It's an Indian head penny, so it looks like it's doing okay in this program. Let's try the other, let's go to high conductors and see what it does. Here's that nickel again. Oops. So still staying in the 20s, 28, 27, like it should. Here's the uh, V nickel. This was the concern, right? Something was, I thought something might be wrong with my machine. But in all terrain general, it seems like it's, this is a uh, silver thimble and a suspender clip. So those are those are acting the way they should. I'm just con I was just concerned about altering in general because it's just weird. Let's try one more here. Um, trash reject. I've never really used this much, but so it's still getting in the 20s, 28, 29, you nickel, 25. So okay, so let's go back to general again. Let's see if um, um, maybe it changed or something. I just want to make sure here. I'm not crazy. Um, all train general once again v nickel not v nickel uh or nickel sounds really funky 72 see how it up averages that signal here's the v nickel really strange so i'm not crazy i uh, just want to make sure i did pass this video over to uh lauren over lauren lemke over and uh where he's at and I uh, just thought it was crazy. Wanted him to double check my my thought here or my video, and he just he pointed out that uh, maybe it was maybe it was the ground, but it look, turns out it's not the ground. It looks like it's all terrain general that's up up averaging these things. So I really appreciate him looking at this with me. Uh, if you want to get uh, check out his channel, he does some great stuff on these machines, and he's very very thorough, and he gives you his unbiased opinion honestly. So I really appreciate him helping me troubleshoot this a little bit. Uh, one more. Let's go to. Let's go to, uh, well, let's see what Beach does, just out of curiosity. So Beach keeps it down to where it should be. It's a little funky, though. I mean, it's Beach. Yep. So I'm not concerned. I think it's the all-terrain general that's uh, that's uh, messing this up a little bit. I wouldn't say messing up, but in a single frequency, you may not want to use all-terrain general is what I'm trying to say. Um, all the other programs seem to be doing just fine with the numbers averaging, down averaging where it should be. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad I did this. Glad Lauren uh, helped me out with this a little bit. Thank you very much again. Uh, check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, that's it for me in this video. Thanks for watching. See ya.